Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I fully realize that my hair looks not good right now. That is on purpose. I have a reason. Just looking at my hair here, it's taking me back to my childhood when I used to pretend. Did you guys ever do this? You used to pretend that your hair was like a little snow bonnet. Um, like I would take it and I would put it in like that and then I'd be like, no, just me. Anyway, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about five ways, five instant ways to increase your style. I have some really good uh, tricks that I wanna talk about today, things that you can remember in the morning when you are getting ready, and I really think they will transform your style. I often use these tricks. In fact, no, a lot of times I forget these tricks, and then I realize later on that I, I was bad. So let's get started with the very first trick. So I'm actually not fixing my hair until point number two. So it's just gonna have to stay back there until I'm ready. Point number one though is really figuring out who you admire style wise. Like as soon as you think, wow, that person has a lot of style. I love her outfit or his outfit. Stop, just stop and think about what do you like about that person? Are they really casual? Are they kind of edgy? Do they have a lot of makeup on? Are they really minimal? Do they have neutrals? Are they really colorful? Like there's so many different things that you could kind of admire about this person. But what you wanna do is really stop and think about it. Once you kind of have different identifying things, you can start applying that specifically into your outfits. You can pull those elements that you love and start wearing that. And I feel like a lot of times when we admire someone's overall outfit, we kind of, I don't know, we don't see the big picture and we don't really, you know, we're, we're not able to pull it into our own style. So I've mentioned this before on my channel, but lately I've just been obsessed with Daniel Bernstein from We Wore What. Obviously, okay, she wears a lot of blazers, so I identify that thing right there. So I have a lot of blazers. She kind of inspires me in that way. But then um, even what I'm wearing right now, I'll insert a photo. I saw her wear it, it had like really broad shoulders. I think I even included this photo in a past video. I love the mint green color. So I screenshot that and when I found this sweater it's definitely different but it really emulates her style and the way she wore it and so I purchased the sweater and now I love when I wear it all right so now we're going to address my hair point number two is to do your hair I know it's a very novel idea a lot of people this is what I see they have amazing outfits but then they don't do much with their hair and it just kind of drags everything down and it's just not what you want to do. So uh, this is just completely air dried hair. And as much as I would love to just wear it like this and feel like a million bucks, it's really best to either straighten it, curl it, do some type of style so that it does look styled and polished. So my latest suggestion is to really just, if, if, you're, if you're feeling a bit lazy, um, you can just tuck it behind your ears like that and then make it really, really tight with the ponytail and I'm revealing too much with this shirt just like that, but then you don't stop there. I really like it when you just twist it like that and then you go around in a big circle in the back, like that. Then you take another hair tie and wrap it around. And just like that, I'm more, I'm more polished and chic. Did it work? No, it didn't. <sighs> Attempt number two. That is better. There we go. Oh yes, I feel better now. And just like that, you know, you didn't spend too much time on your hair at all. Everything is more pulled together, more polished, more styled, and it works. Number three, shoes are critical. I really think shoes are one of the very first things people notice when they see you or when they meet you besides maybe messy hair. When you just feel like your outfit is missing something, when it just kind of feels like it's a very average, like it's just missing something. I really recommend having a few pairs of snazzy shoes, as I like to call them, in your collection. So these are some gray boots. They're different pairs. They would look great with this outfit. But as you can see, this has some studs, some metal studs that really catch your eye. This uh, isn't as shiny, but it's just kind of contrasting with the snake pattern here. And it just really 
elevates the whole outfit. No matter how you dress, your shoes really sum it all up. Number four, when you are stuck in a style rut or you feel like you're stuck in a style rut, try to wear something that scares you. Go outside of your comfort zone. The key here is you wanna try and wear something that just gives you a little bit of an uneasy feeling and just try it out, see what happens. Perfect example of this is the kimono here that I recently purchased. It's from Free People, look at it. Uh, there's tassels. I wouldn't normally wear this, but I decided to go for it because it was styled at the store on a mannequin and I was like, oh, I don't know if I can pull that off. I'm just gonna try it. So I purchased it. I've already worn it so many times and every time I wear it, I get so many compliments on it and I wouldn't have realized that I could pull something off like this and people would you know, compliment me if I wouldn't have just taken that little tiny leap of uneasiness and tried it out. So let me just change into this and you can see the full outfit. We're gonna do some magic now. Woo! Okay, so here we are, look at me. I'm wearing this now and I really like it. Okay, so I can link this down below. Uh, I think it comes in several colors. It's one of their best-selling pieces and now I understand why. Uh, but yes, again, just go outside of your comfort zone, see what happens. Number five, when you want to immediately look more stylish but you don't know what to do, you don't know what to wear, you're just not feeling your outfit that day, just remember three colors. This is so simple but it works every time. You can wear black, white, and camel in any order, in any piece, and they always look amazing together. And I, I mean, what I love about those three colors together, it kind of covers various styles. It does look kind of minimalistic, it looks, you know, neutral, but it also kind of has an edgy vibe to it, street style vibe. It just always works. And, and it really takes the guesswork out of picking an outfit. Just go for something in those three colors and it will always work in any order. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll have everything that I talked about linked below. And I'll also insert some playlists here of my other favorite style how-to videos that you guys have said you really enjoyed. And maybe you're new and you can check those out. So thank you again and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.